Yo, yo, what's up? Jonathan Belcher here. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. You are rich. You are financially free. You are financially prosperous. Money flows to you effortlessly and abundantly. You are wealthy. You are healthy. You are loved. One more time, one more time. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. I'm still in LA right now, Los Angeles. Uh, I'm actually in the parking lot of the hotel where I'm at. The Holiday Inn right now. Um, and I'm looking for this. There was this graffiti. This is a graffiti wall I'm looking for that I saw outside of my hotel room window. So I'm trying to get there now because you know the parking lot is kind of big where I'm at. But peep the drip real quick. Check out the drip. Shout out to Crenshaw. You already know. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle. Peep the drip. Wet pants. White uptown. Yeah. The blue and yellow Crenshaw hoodie. You know I had to pay my respects. Went over to uh Slauson Ave yesterday to the grounds where you know Nipsey Hussle was uh, murdered you know what I'm saying so I had to come out here and pay my respects oh here go the wall here's the wall I was looking for it's over here let's take this walk with me make sure to watch this video to the very end because I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make a lot of money online how to become financially free how to travel more how to receive more love receive more appreciation, how to become more valuable in society. I'm gonna be talking to you about how to do that. So stay tuned to the very end of the video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. Hit the bell symbol so you can get notified immediately whenever I make videos like this. Hold on, I gotta walk outside this way. Um, I'm gonna walk to the main street. And I think this street is called uh, Lock. Hold on, what's it called? One second, one second. Got to go out here to the street by this gas station. And I'm in LA right now, so you see the palm trees and everything. See, it's the main road right there. All the cars coming up the block. Um, I'm not exactly, oh, this is, the street that I'm on is La, La Sinerga, something like that. I forgot how to pronounce it. La Cienega. La Cienega, something like that. There's a truck over here by the graffiti I wanted to do the video at. So I don't know if you see the truck over there. There's a graffiti wall over there. I was going to do the video over there for you, dropping gems on you. But the thing is, the truck is over there, so it might be a little too loud. Hold on one second. I'm going to just walk that way. Let's see what's going on on this side. I'm not too far, I'm, I'm right in Inglewood. You know, I came here, my boy told me I'm, I'm by the hood right now, you know what I'm saying? But we went to Hollywood. Uh, I went to Venice Beach. See back here, see the graffiti right there, but the truck is over there making all this noise. So that's the issue. Beautiful, beautiful graffiti backdrop though. So I'm gonna just go back around because it's too noisy over here right now. Unfortunately, I can't do the video right there. I'll just go back around. So yeah, one thing about LA is the people are really nice. Uh, gang culture is really deep over here. It's another thing. So you gotta be careful of certain fitted hats you wear and stuff like that. Certain colors you don't wanna wear too much uh, red or too much blue or, or any type of do anything that really attracts attention to you. But if you go anywhere with the right energy you know the energy of love and you go everywhere you go with an energy of openness and acceptance of people people are going to be able to feel that and no matter where you go on earth they're gonna appreciate you and they're gonna welcome you you know what i mean since i've been in la everybody's been cool and i tell them straight up i'm from new york because they know immediately i'm not from here they're like oh where you from and i tell them i'm from new york and they real cool you know but I, I'm very aware of my surroundings and where I'm at. You know, so much respects to Los Angeles, most, much respects to California, much respects to uh, Nipsey Hussle, you know, Mac Dre, Tupac, all the greats, all the legends that came from here. 
Uh, big ups to Snoop Dogg too. Big ups to Kendrick Lamar. You know, all of these artists who came from Los Angeles, who came from the city. But I had a great time so far being here. Weather's beautiful. Uh, palm trees. You got a little breeze over here. The food is really, really good. I went to this spot last night called Thai Tallies. Thai Tile or something like that is called. Some amazing, amazing Thai food. I mean, from the minute I walked in there, the smell just hit my nose. I was like, yo, this is the spot. This is the place right here. So my friends, we came and we went inside and we had dinner last night. Uh, and, and that was great. And I also went to this, this lounge out here they have called Champ City. If you're ever in Los Angeles and you want to turn up, uh, you know, hookah, drinks and stuff like that, go to Champ City. And for bowling, when I was here, I went to Bolero to bowl. Um, they got, it's half bowling and half, you know, you can eat food, drinks, arcade, all the fun stuff is at uh, Bolero. If you want to have a good time with you, your family, your friends, go bowling, you know, enjoy yourself a nice game or two, drink some, some drinks, you know, get some food, all that good stuff. But really what I want to talk to you about is your power. I want you to know that you are a hundred times more powerful than you believe you may be right now. You can do anything this, in this life that you put your mind to. And I know that may sound cliche, but as much time that I need to remind you of that, I'm going to remind you of it. Uh, the sun is not pointing this way, unfortunately. Maybe I should walk backwards so you can see me. Right? But yeah, like, if you want to make a lot of money on the internet, you got to have confidence. You got to believe in yourself. See, belief isn't just about believing in other people, you know? To believe in other people is to believe in yourself. That's what it is. To believe in other people is to believe in yourself. Let me see if I could just stand over here and get some better lighting over here. I know I'm all over the place right now, but just, this is more like a little vlog video type of thing, because I'm still out here in, uh, in LA. Uh, so I'm by the building right now. Don't really like that view, so I'm gonna go walk over here by the trees and stuff like that and the plants. But yeah, so to believe in other people is to believe in yourself, you know? So if you wanna make a lot of money online, you, you gotta have that confidence. You gotta know it's possible for you. It's not just possible for me. It's not just possible for somebody who's been in this game for a long time. It's also possible for you. The life that you wanna live, the life that you may see somebody else living, that you may respect their lifestyle, a lifestyle where you may honor their lifestyle and, and like the way they move, it's also possible for you. And you gotta know that 24 seven. So confidence, you gotta have confidence to know that greatness is possible for you. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna make a lot of money online. The next thing is, the next thing you gotta do to make a lot of money online is you gotta get good at collecting data. This is a must. You got to get good at collecting data. You gotta get good at collecting information because we're in the information age. That's what we in right now. This era we in is the information age. And because of the technology, you know, the advancement of technology happening so rapidly during these times, information and data is extremely, extremely, extremely crucial to, to you having success in your business. You know, because by you getting good at collecting data, you're gonna be able to connect with more people. You're gonna be able to show your value off to more people. You're gonna be able to show your gift off to more people, your talent off to more people. You're gonna be able to share your message to more people. You know what I'm saying? And with the 300 to Freedom Movement, what we're doing is we're teaching everybody the game, we're teaching you all the ins and outs and all the secrets of how to make money online, how to be able to travel more, how to be financially free, how to quit your job, not need a boss, you don't have to be corporate, you don't have to be some professional who wears a suit and tie every day to make a lot of money. And that's really the message that we've been sharing for a long time now, and I've been telling you for a while, over the last few years, that you know something big is coming, something big is coming. And to be real with you, it's like 98% ready, 98% done. It's so close to that time for us to work together and to inspire the world, inspire the people in the world, uplift the people in the world, and empower the people in the world. 
part of the reason why I came out to LA and went to Slauson Avenue yesterday was because I wanted to really pay my respects, come here in the flesh to Nipsey's neighborhood. You know, because one thing about Nipsey Hustle that I respected is that he stood for something and he had a message. He stood for something and he had a message. And if you just do your research and you dig back, you'll see that that's what he had. He stood for something and he had a message. And people get it twisted sometimes. They think, oh, a person's just, if they in a gang, oh, they just write them off. Oh, you a gangbanger. You, you, ain't, you ain't saying nothing. Oh, you just a rapper. You just this. But here's the thing. He was more than just a rapper. He had a message and he had a voice. The whole world knows who he is right now. Everybody knows who he is right now. You know, I, there's like hundreds of murals in LA. I, I just drove by, I'm talking about so many murals since I've been here of Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? And that's because of what he stood for. So the legacy and the marathon, it lives on. You know what I'm saying? The message lives on even after he's passed away and, his, and he's not here in the physical his message is still living on and it's still being shared across the world, across California, even in New York, even way across the whole country. We still know who Nipsey is and what he represents. So you gotta look at that. We gotta look at that and we gotta analyze that and say, you know what? How crucial and how powerful is it to have a message? A message that's gonna give power to the people. A message that's gonna put that's gonna educate the people and, and put the people on to success. That's really what it's about. The message sharing, letting people know the truth. You know what I mean? There's gonna be a lot of people out there on your journey to success who they're not gonna like what you're doing and, and they're not gonna support you and they're not gonna, they're not gonna uplift you. And the reason is because it's not that they don't like what you're doing, they don't like that it's you doing it. So you gotta keep going, you gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep going and keep pushing until your value and your worth is undeniable. That's how hard you gotta go. You gotta go so hard that your value and your worth is undeniable. I remember, what is this, like nine years ago, when I first got some information on business and earning residual income. Nine years ago, I never thought I would actually be living in that situation. I never thought I'd actually experience earning residual income. Nine years ago, if you told me at that time that now I would be living and experiencing what I'm experiencing now, helping the people that I'm helping, I would have looked at you like you had 10 heads. I wouldn't have believed in you. But for some reason, through me seeing other people having success, through me seeing other people keep on pushing and keep on persevering no matter how hard things got, through me seeing people never give up on themselves and because they never gave up on themselves, they're now very successful, that inspired me to wanna to keep going. So I know how important it is to have a message and to keep on going with your message until people understand and they believe in it. You know, cause all we really want is some type of belief in us. All you really need is some type of belief in you and I want you to know if nobody else around you believes in you, I believe in you. I believe in you and I know your dreams are possible. I want you to know that. And sometimes it's the people who are the strangers, people that you would never expect. Those are the people who are gonna believe in you. Those are the people who are gonna hold you up to a high level. Those are the people who are gonna praise your work. So don't underestimate the power of the stranger's support. Don't just think, oh, I'm gonna just be in business and I only wanna love the people who are my family and the people who are closest to me and I only wanna love my friends. Well, guess what? There's more strangers in the world than you have friends. There's more strangers in the world than you have friends. So what kind of impact are you trying to make? If you want to make a lot of money online, you got to get clear on the impact you want to make. And what my vision is, is I want to groom and develop a team of content creators. You know, a team of people who want to create content, YouTube videos, it don't matter if it's music, it don't matter if it's just pictures, if, if you're a model, it don't matter if you're an actor, an actress. What I wanna do is put you on the game to turn whatever you're doing into a brand that earns income all throughout the day, 24 seven, while you sleeping, while you at work, while you at, out at, with friends, while you traveling. 
I want to put you on game to teach you how to make money independent of time. That's what my vision is, is to teach people who have a gift. May not You may not have learned how to turn that gift into money. And that's what I'm here to do, is to teach you how to turn your gift into a paycheck. And now it's making sense to me because when I think about my journey over the last few years, I've helped so many people earn money online. I've helped so many people earn their first commission online. I've helped so many people rank up in different companies and sell different products. And I've taught so many people how to market themselves online that now it's second nature. I can take anybody coming in this game from scratch, teach them step by step how to set up their business online and how to build an online presence that keeps on attracting new customers and keeps on attracting new business partners. So that's what I want to ask you. Do you want to learn how to attract new sales every single day in your sleep, independent of time, while you're at work? Do you want to be able to travel more and earn money to your bank account even while you're on the go, even while you're on the move? Do you want to be able to experience a lifestyle like that? You can answer this question to yourself. You don't got to answer it to anybody. Just answer it to yourself in your own, in your own head. You know what I'm saying? But what I want you to know is you can do great things. Great things are possible for you. You have greatness within you already. You don't have to keep searching outside of yourself for things that don't empower you. Because all the power, all the, the greatness is inside of you. It's inside of you. Your greatness is inside of you. All you got to do is tap in. Just tap into your greatness and start shining. Start shining, letting that greatness be shown to the world. Don't be afraid. You know what I mean? But you gotta be yourself. You gotta be yourself and you gotta know what you want. You gotta know what you want. Because if you don't know what you want, somebody gonna tell you what you want. <laughs> somebody gonna, if you don't know your worth, somebody gonna, de gonna decide your worth for you. So, what I wanna help you experience is how to earn residual income. What's residual income? Residual income is earning money independent of time, passively, every single month. You know, I'm talking about income that comes throughout the day, throughout the week, and throughout the months. Residually. It means it keeps on coming. So, what that means is, excuse me, if you go hard this month, and you work hard this month, and you make a certain amount of sales, then next month, you're gonna make money whether or not you lift a finger. Whether or not you do anything at all, you're gonna be able to make money the next following month. That's what residual income means. That's what residual income is. It's when you've built up a passive income portfolio that's solidified to a point where whether or not you lift a finger, you're gonna still make money. Whether or not you decide to put in work today, you're still gonna make money. Now, most people don't earn residual income. Most people earn linear income, right? Most people have a nine to five job. Uh, they, they clock into their job and they're paid by the hour. That's linear income. So the more hours you put into your job, the more money you're gonna make. That's how linear income works. Residual income is different though because residual income is independent of time. So that means you don't gotta put in a certain amount of hours to make a certain amount of money. It's not based on that. You know, so when you see people living a life of freedom and a life of travel and they're able, it's like as if they're doing whatever they want when they want, it's not that they're not working. Don't get it confused. It's not that those people ain't put in the, in the work. So don't ever think that a person who's traveling the world and able to do what they want when they want, don't ever think that it means they're not doing nothing at all. All it means is that they just found a way to work smarter and not harder. That's all it means. They just found a way to work smarter and not harder. You know what I mean? They found a way to create a business out of their dream, out of their vision. And when you do that, you're not limited to the people you can serve. Think about your job for a second. They're paying you for your time, but the amount of productivity you bring it into that company it's way over the amount of money they're paying you. So your job can never pay you what you're worth. They can never pay you what you're worth because they're paying you based on time. But you can pay yourself what, you, what you're worth. You can pay yourself what you're worth. And that's when people call you, they call you self-made. You know, they say, oh, you self-made. You, 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 
you created something for yourself. You, you made a lane for yourself. You made a way for yourself. That's what being self-made is. You know what I mean? So residual income will allow you the ability to, to, to travel more, spend more time with friends and family. It will allow you the ability to just be on a, a, a life journey of development. Because one thing about entrepreneurs, at least the entrepreneurs that I know that are successful, they never feel like they know everything. They never feel like they've accomplished all that they need to know. They always are hungry for more knowledge. They're always hungry for more skill sets. They're always hungry to take, their, to take what they're doing to another level. And that's a pattern that I realized with real successful people. So if you want to be successful, you got to model success. You got to model success, baby. If you want to be successful, you got to model success. And getting around the mass amount of success is going to create success within you. Because you can't be around the atmosphere of success and not, stay t and not take on the habits of success. It's not going to happen. All right? So, I just wanted to make this video. I wanted to do this video about a graffiti, but unfortunately, the truck was over there and the truck was real loud. You wouldn't have been able to hear me, you know. But I'm about to go get some In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, two days ago, I went to Fat Burger and I got an uh, Impossible Burger, Impossible Veggie Burger. It was really, really good. But before I go, my flight is in a couple hours. I'm gonna get on a flight, go back home to New York. I've been here for about five days. Uh, but before I go home, I'm gonna go get me an In-N-Out Burger. That burger was so, so good. And, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to go vegan soon or become vegetarian soon, something like that, you know. Um, I believe in that. I believe in healthy eating, healthy, uh, feel, you're going to feel healthy when you eat healthy. And also not only that, people don't realize how healthy, how much better you're going to think when you eat the right foods. When you eat the right foods, it also feeds the mind. It don't just feed the body, it feeds the mind. You know what I mean? And the most important thing governing your life right now, the most important thing governing your finances right now, the most important thing governing your situation right now, is your mindset it's your mind it's what's going on in your mind and your heart so in this movement we are on the mission to improve the hearts and the minds of you your family your friends and the people in the world that's what we are on the mission to do in this movement improve the hearts and the minds of the people once we do that we could change the world easily change the world because we all are a small part of a larger consciousness we're all, you're a small part of a larger consciousness. So we all have the similar desires. We all have similar wants and needs, you know. Yeah, you have your brain. Your brain is in your head and my brain is in my head, but we're still a part of a, a whole consciousness. We're small parts of a whole of consciousness. If you ever look at uh, a picture of, of the galaxy, right? Bring up a picture of the galaxy and look up a picture of, of, um, like your brain cell, like your brain, right? If you take a picture of the galaxy and a brick picture of your brain, they look identical. The galaxy in your brain looks identical. What that's telling you is that you are a part of the universe and the universe is also a part of you. You're not separate from the universe. You're not separate from uh, nature. You're not separate. You're a part of this whole thing we call the universe. You're literally a part of it. You're literally an important piece to this whole operation of what's going on in society and the whole world and the planets and the universe. And I know this, this is going into my, you know, the deep bag that, that some people may not want me to go into, but it's the truth. If you look at the picture of a galaxy and you look at the picture of a brain, and what you're gonna see is an identical image. Same thing with your lungs and with the, 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 uh, the branches of a tree. Your lungs and the branches of a tree, look at the branches up there. Your lungs and the branches of a tree look identical. Why is that? Why is that? I'm telling you why. Because you are part of the universe and the universe is a part of you. So right there automatically, that means you're extremely powerful. You're extremely powerful. You're extremely powerful. That's what that means. And you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. You can make money online. You can make $10,000 online. You can make six figures online. You can make seven figures online. You can grow a, a, a customer base of hundreds of people, thousands of people. 
really, you're only as limited as you allow yourself to be. You're really a limitless being. You're only as limited as you allow yourself to be. Now, I wouldn't advise going against the laws of nature, you know, or being stupid in that type of sense. Like, I wouldn't advise, you know, trying to go against the law of gravity or something like that because that's not something that's negotiable. We haven't figured out how to fly yet or something like that. So I wouldn't advise you trying to fly. I wouldn't say, oh, you could do whatever you put your mind to, go out there and try to jump off a building and fly. I wouldn't say that, that's stupid. But when you work within the laws of nature and you work within the laws of cause and effect, within the laws of oneness, within the law of, of, of attraction, you, walk, you work in line with those laws of the universe, only thing that's gonna happen is the universe is gonna give you more of what you want. Cause you're working in line with the universe. You're not working against it. Some people go out there and they work against the universe every single day. Not understanding there's karmic repercussions for what you do. Everything you put in, every seed you plant is going to manifest something out. Every thought you have is going to manifest something. Every action you take is going to manifest something. Now, whether or not it's going to be something you want or not, that's a whole different thing. But if you plant in good fruit, if you plant in good seeds, if you take in good action, if you're doing the right thing, you know, you believe it in people. You're treating people with respect and honor. You know, at least those who respect you. If you're doing that, well, karmically, you're going to get the same back. You're going to get respect and honor in return. You're going to get love in return. You're going to get belief and support in return. Start believing in more people. What's going to happen is more people is going to believe in you.